what's really amazing to me is when I come out here and walk, I always see something interesting or something new. Sapsucker Woods surrounds Cornell University's lab of ornithology. Laura Burkholder checks up on some of its fine feathered residents. Tree swallow nests are really amazing. They actually will put feathers in the nest that helps keep the nestlings and the eggs warm. Burkholder is project leader of Cornell's Nest Watch. With help from the National Science Foundation, she coordinates the efforts of thousands of citizen scientists. Armed with notebooks and mirrors in cities and backyards, they check nests, count eggs, and keep records until the chicks take flight. They connect with these birds and they have a sense of really wanting to follow them through the nesting cycle and share that information. Data from trained volunteers helps behavioral ecologist Janice Dickinson track bird diseases, behavior, and changing breeding habitat. We need to be looking at these problems at very large geographic scales. And the only way to do that is with citizen science, if we want to project what might be happening with climate change on birds, and even look at the effects that climate change has already had on birds. Participants share their findings on the Nest Watch website. It's real simple, you just go to My Nest. They can also view live nest cams from across the U.S. Even long before the internet came along, bird lovers were lending Cornell scientists a hand. Karen Cooper uses the old and new in her research. The birds that we see today, these, these are nesting records of their great-great-great-great-grandmothers. There are over 350,000 nest records on pretty much every species of bird in North America. Nest Watch is welcoming new generations of naturalists. What I find really fascinating about birds is their diversity. I just like seeing stuff that people usually don't see, like nests and stuff up close. Who knew that the fun of bird watching could help serious science take flight? For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.